Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Ellie, and I wanted to read our Bible story with you today. And Samantha wants to come out. She loves to come out for all of our stories. All right, Samantha, come on out. Here she is. And she has her storybook. She's ready to go right by her house. And Samantha says, please be quiet because I have teeny tiny mouse holdrejas. We'll do that for you, Samantha. Of course we will. So our story today has Jesus in it when he was here on earth still. And it comes from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. It says that one day Jesus had been making many people well. He had been healing them. Many sick people, he was healing them. And all day long, Jesus had been telling people about God's love for them. When it was bedtime, Jesus went to stay at a house with some of his friends. When it was morning, Jesus' friends heard the sound of voices outside the house. They looked out and saw many, many, many people. They had all come to see Jesus. Jesus' friends probably called out for Jesus. Then they went to the room where Jesus had slept during the night, but Jesus was not there. Where could Jesus have gone? They wondered, Jesus' friends looked inside the house, they looked outside the house, but still they did not find Jesus anywhere. So Jesus' friends walked down the road looking for Jesus. When they came to a quiet place outside, they stopped. They saw Jesus there, all alone. He was praying. He was talking to God his father up in heaven. Jesus' friends knew that Jesus liked to pray. Many times his friends saw Jesus praying by himself. One day, one of Jesus' friends asked him, will you teach us how to pray, Jesus? Yes, Jesus said, I will teach you how to pray. So Jesus' friends all gathered around him. When you pray, Jesus said, Pray like this, our Father who is in heaven, our Father who is in heaven, we love and respect your name. We love and respect your name. We want you to be king over us. We want you to be king over us. Give us what we need for today. Give us what we need for today. Forgive us the wrong things that we do. Forgive us the wrong things that we do. We forgive everyone who has done wrong to us. We forgive everyone who has done wrong to us. Please protect us. Please protect us. Help us to do what is right. Help us to do what is right. You are the king. You are the king. You can do anything. You can do anything. Amen. Amen. Jesus told them to talk to God just as they would talk to their father here on earth. Jesus loves them very, very much. And God loves them very, very much. Jesus said to ask God the Father for what they need each day. Jesus said to ask God to forgive the wrong things they do and that they should forgive other people for wrong things that they do to them. And they can ask God to help them not to do wrong things, but to do right things. Jesus' friends must have been glad that he taught them how to pray. We can learn to pray by reading Jesus' prayer too. And Jesus' prayer is in the Bible. And you can go to the book of Matthew and the book of Mark and the book and the book of Luke. And you can read this story in the Bible for yourself. And Jesus was just telling us that we just pray to God in heaven and to Jesus in heaven now. Just we just talk to them. We just pray by talking to them and asking them for the things we need help with and thanking them for all the wonderful things they've given us, like our family, our friends. They've given us our home and our food and our clothes.
clothes. There's so much to thank Jesus and God for. And then if you need help with something, Jesus is right there for you to ask him to help. And so I have some pieces to add to our story. So let's see. They could not find Jesus. He had been staying with them in a house, but the next morning they went looking for him. Was he in the house? No, he was outside. And Jesus was actually in a quiet place, kneeling down and praying. So here he is, right by some rocks, like within our storyboard, outside. And who came looking for Jesus? Well, his friends did. His friends were searching down the long road. They were searching outside, calling out for Jesus. And then when they got to that quiet place, they saw Jesus and there he was. They found him and he was quietly talking to his father in heaven. He was talking to God. And then he taught them how they can talk to God. And it's very easy, just like we said. And in class and on our meetings and on our videos, we can do the same thing. We can just fold our monos, close our ojos, and we can talk to God and Jesus. So I'm gonna say a little prayer with you before I go. Dear Jesus, thank you for our time together with our videos. Thank you that we have warm homes to be in and that we have food. Thank you for our clothes. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our learning, how we can grow and learn together. Thank you for taking care of us. And please help us to treat others kindly and to be a good friend to our family and our friends. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so talking to Jesus is as easy as that. So I hope you get to do that every day and I'll be talking to Jesus for you. I thank him every day for my students and that I get to see you in our meetings. So take care until next time. Bye-bye for now.